Just want to do a quick video today on how to prep for your driveway ceiling. We're going to do some repairs today. As you can see, I've already done a few, a couple of different spots throughout and show you all the different tools and equipment. They have the speed patch. It is more like a paste and then I use that little trowel to spread around. If you have small cracks, you just use the liquid and pour it out. Sorry for the road noise, but I'm on a really busy road here. I have a Milwaukee blower. That'll get all the final dust out. Ideally, you want to use a hose or a pressure washer, but I don't have the water hooked up here yet. Uh, gloves, because you're going to have tar all over yourself. An old screwdriver, a straight. That way you can dig up all the cracks. I have just a, a torch. This will kill off any of the weeds or anything that's starting to come up after you dig them out to ensure they're not going to grow and push apart the work you just did. I have a tamper in case you need uh, pavement. As you can see over here, I had to dig up some of this. And ideally, I'll show another video on how to do this, but you want to dig down about two inches. That way, once you compact it, it'll actually form really well into the hole. If not, it's just going to separate in time. Obviously, a shovel, you know, just to scoop up all your dirt, and a good stiff broom. You can see how stiff that is. That'll help to get all the dust out of the cracks. If you have any dust or dirt in there, it won't adhere to the old pavement, and it's just going to pull up over time. So let's just look around here real quick. You can see like the driveway seen better days, but we're going to make it look like new again, the best we can for what we have. A lot of times you have these cracks, we'll dig them out and then fill them back in and go over it with sealer. Right now you can see, I started on this one, all I did was dig out all the roots coming up. And I'll show you that real quick here with the screwdriver. Let me go grab that and I'll show you how it's done. I seriously picked like the noisiest road to do this on, so hopefully you can hear me good. All you're gonna do is get your screwdriver and just start to pry out all these weeds here. And then you're just gonna go like this into the track, clear it out. If it's something with a big root, you want to kind of go under it to get that entire root out. If not, it's just going to grow back on you. Make sure you get down in there really good. Because any loose debris. not going to stick to it. Just hit with the broom. Then I hit it with the blower or the hose. Next, you want to hit with the torch. And you'll see all the roots as they burn off. So, let me go ahead and get the patch out. If you have wider spots like this, you want to use the patch that's a little bit thicker. Let me get the camera turned around so you can see. All right, just to show you a little bit here, you can see this is a lot thicker. This is going to be for cracks about um, over a quarter inch. Like this one here, you're going to want to use the paste on. Now, if you get little cracks like that, you can use the other one where you just pour it in. And then you just want to spread it out along here. Let's show you real quick here. 
all you're gonna do is just pour it right in don't worry about like if it's a little bit wider because we're just gonna spread this out nice That's really all there is to it. It's not rocket science, it's really easy. Now the other one, it just pours in and you wanna shake this really well. I'll just do it here where it's a little bit smaller. And it just, this can be really hard with one hand, but it squeezes out. It's a little bit thicker than driveway sealer, but not quite as thick as in the bucket. In same situation, you're gonna get your trowel, just something flat. You can see I need a little bit more in there. And you just want to make sure you're going to fill up that crack really good. That's basically it. These will be the two types of sealers you need for when you're doing cracks. And again, just make sure you have all that debris out of there. Ideally, again, you want to use a hose or a pressure washer, but I have no water hooked up here. So after you go through all these different cracks, you want to pressure wash or wash your entire driveway. Because if you have anything like this, any of that dust, if you go over that with a sealer, it'll come right back up. And you can see here, this driveway failed before. See how there's dirt under here? So it just chips right up. It just, it just peels right up because there's dirt under here. So you want to make sure it's extremely clean. That way it's going to last for a long time. So I'm going to show you once I get water on here, I'm going to pressure wash this and then also seal it afterwards and I'll show you that ne next step. But for right now, we're just fixing all these little holes and cracks. And you'll see just like these small ones right here, there's a plant that came up there. You dig it out, get all that dust out, and then you're all good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, just showing you how to do a little bit of prep work before you seal your driveway. And I will be doing another video, how to do asphalt repair like this. That way, if you have a major hole above like over an inch big, we'll use uh, this here. And let me show you the bag real quick. You can get this at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's a quality pavement repair. It's just asphalt in a bag and you just tamp it down.
So thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, please hit subscribe and the bell notification. There's going to be a lot more videos coming up with uh, repairs around the house. And like I said, I renovate houses and rent them out. So you're going to see a lot more how-tos, just things like this where uh, you can learn something's nice and easy and save yourself a lot of money. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.